So the West Bullet House, it's got such an amazing sort of historic tradition and it has had so many amazing people through here, many stories through here. And so it, it's important that that's kept and, and preserved. So you want to restore it, but you also want to retain what it has and you want to make it make it even better. So, you know, the city the, they should be proud of what exists here and the community should be proud of this boathouse and the legacy it has. But also you want to sort of transform it into the future so that it will keep being successful, it will keep being influential in people's lives and, and to the greater number of people will benefit from that. I'm not going to say which year it was that I first came to this boathouse, it's a long time ago now, I'm not going to count. Um, but when I came here it was, it was like a family opening its arms and welcoming me in. And, and it introduced me to a sport that I've, I've done for the next sort of 25 years after that and, and gained so much from. You know, there's loads of benefits of being involved in sport, whether it's on the health and fitness side or the community side or the support group side, all those different things. But you still need the chance to take part in it yourself. So by having a boathouse like this, or the, the, what it will become, that it really is open to rowers, obviously, but also to the wider community as well. A place to come together, to take part in activity, to learn things, to try things, to meet people, to do new things. If we don't have those sort of places, then things like that just don't happen for most people. So it really is sort of throwing the doors open and getting the chance to, for people to come and try things for themselves. The, the sort of community behind the sport is immense and makes sport what it is on all levels, right from the sort of grassroots or school age stuff all the way through to the top level at the Olympics. Volunteers make sport happen. So any, any kind of environment where sport, volunteers can get involved and help and and, and just make more people benefit. It's really important, and I do. I can't say enough about how amazing volunteers, how the power that volunteering can change people's lives. I think projects like this are huge. They really are huge, and they're a big undertaking, um, expense as well as time and energy and focus. So actually, what you need is partnerships to come together. The National Lottery and the Heritage side of that has put in huge amounts of money, but also you need the Preservation Trust who will support it and, and see that it's done the right way. And I think what's lovely for a community is the more people that are part of that project and come together to make it happen, the more people will will sort of celebrate it and enjoy it and know about it and share it. So, I mean, for me, I've been lucky. I've been I've, been, I've lived in a world of sport for a long time and to me partnerships have made that, you know, the, 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 the coming together of different groups and people to create something much bigger than yourself. The top of the water. Awesome. You know, what's lovely from my point of view is seeing people who will come through the doors of this in the next two, three years, but then 5, 10, 15, 20, 50 years beyond that and benefit in some way and they won't all need to go on and become international athletes, but they will, they will find a community and they'll find a home and they'll find a family and they'll find support and they'll find fun and challenge and laughter all in one building and when you see that translated into the community further afield then it, there's something very special that will happen here.